It's actually really, really important. This, this plant is right at the start of the food chain here. There's three parts. Feel that. It's nice and slippery, eh? There's three parts, and we didn't get the part on the bottom of the ocean. It's called a hold fast. Looks like a big sponge kind of thing, but it's right at the bottom here, at the end here. It grabs onto the bottom. This grows to the surface. It grows up to about 100 feet long. It's got the hold fast, it's got this part called the stipe, and then there's this part called the blade. And this is actually filled with, they say, 10% carbon monoxide gas. That lets it float. You'll notice how it's all floating on the surface out there. That lets it float up on the surface, and then this part spreads out and photosynthesizes. And as a byproduct of the photosynthesis, it gives off carbon into the water. And the carbon feeds the photoplankton. And the photoplankton feeds the zooplankton, and the zooplankton feeds the little organisms, the small fish, and all the way up the food chain. So this is critical for the health of the ocean, this stuff. And you can actually eat it. We're going to serve it to you right now, for those of you that like to try. Tastes a little bit like salty cabbage, to be honest with you. I'll pass, uh, up. You can have a full order or a half order, whatever you like. <laughs> sure. Now it's, it's full of vitamins, it's full of minerals, it's full of algins, carrageenans. Meals. Come on, it's meals included in the trip. You don't have to worry about it. And I really everybody here, well, just about everybody except for Rod, 25 cents that you've already had this. It's going what? Lax. Oh, cheesy. This plant, by the way, is the fastest growing plant we have around here. This thing can grow up to two feet a day. Oh my gosh. It grows annually, it grows until uh, about September, then it dies off and floats around. You've seen some of it actually floating in small bunches already today. It floats up on the shore. People with gardens, they run down with a wheelbarrow and scoop it all up and put it in their garden. But like I say, it's actually, uh, it's actually good for you as well. Now the natives used to use this stuff for for rope. They dry out this, as I mentioned, it gets up to like like a hundred feet long. Mm -hmm. They use it for rope. And when it was dry and brittle, they just soak it in the and if you need to call people for help, you can Oh, is it to the left? Yes. So 